I've cycled over the brow of the hill. To the left, the two spires of the Roman Catholic Cathedral of St. Patrick. And on the right, the square tower of the Anglican Cathedral to St. Patrick. This is the Cathedral Church of St. Patrick up on the hill in Armagh. And there's been a church here since Patrick built the very first one in the year 445. This one is building number 17. It's got bits from the 13th century up the front. This is Tandragi Man. He's 3,000 years old. And what that shows is that faith has been important uh, on this hill forever. Brian Baru is not the only king associated with the cathedral church here. This is King Charles. St. Patrick is a great saint of reconciliation in these islands. He originates from Britain, was captured and made a slave here for 10 years, escaped, went home and decided to come back to Ireland. And his message is one of hope and reconciliation. The way he uh, speaks up for the marginalised, the dispossessed, those without a voice. I admire him greatly. I think there's a lot to be learnt from somebody like him. So St. Patrick, top man. We're standing here at the front of the cathedral and you can see why St. Patrick chose this hill. It had a historical significance, a place of ritual connected to Navan, the royal capital of Ulster. But a hill is easy to defend and can be seen far and wide. So for us today, what a great message of reconciliation, the relationship between these islands and the importance of knowing one another and that message of faith. Top man, Patrick, we love you. So here on the Mall in Armagh, I'm reminded of that lovely Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may the good Lord hold you in the palm of his hand. Brilliant.